It's the Halloween nail challenge, week three. So what's going on y'all? Welcome back to a random nail challenge, Halloween edition, week three. We're really like, I got an email. We're really flying through these weeks like it's nothing. Before you know it, it's gonna be the end of the month. It's gonna be Halloween. I was thinking like I should dress up like on the last random nail Halloween challenge. I should dress up as something. But I don't know who I should be. I don't know. Let me know y'all ideas what I should dress up as and I might do it. I just might depending on how I'm feeling. We'll see. But anyways, this is a new week, new nail set, let's go. But it's something special about this week. This week is a little different. This week is my birthday. So when this video is posted, my birthday will already be over. But anyways, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is for my birthday, I'm going to Disney. Basically, more of the story, this nail set is about to be my nail set. I'm going to wear to Disney. So whatever comes up on the wheel, that's what I'm going to have to wear to Disney. This could go really good or this could go really bad. Like either way, like I'm just nervous about this one. Every week I'm nervous, but I'm really nervous about this one for real. Like I gotta wear this for real. Like I'm doing a full set. I gotta wear it out of my house. I can't just pop it off right after the video. Let, let, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's get it on out the way. But before we get to spinning the wheel, y'all already know we gotta do our notification shout outs. Here is our notification shout out winners for this video. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on. I love you guys. And if you would like a shout out just like these people, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you have your post notifications turned on. That way you can be notified each and every time I post and you can get a chance to be one of the first three people to come on my videos and that way you will get a shout out in my very next video okay let's get this over with shall we now for this week i really didn't add any themes because i'm already nervous as it is so we're gonna stick with what's on this wheel so i'm already on it so let's go ahead and spin get something good okay i'll take it blood so we got blood okay let's spin again spiders okay so we got blood and spiders as our two themes okay so we got a number of colors we don't need so many so let's see three okay all right so we got to spin the wheel three times let's see what our first color is red color number one red so first color red second color is okay black Red and black, that kind of works out. Cause spiders are black and blood is red. Okay, stuff is really lining up. Okay, third color, let's go, let's go, let's go. Third color, third color, third color, third color, third color. Pink, so black, red, and pink. Okay, all right, nail shape. Let's see what we got. We don't want no lipstick, cause I'm going out in public and that's embarrassing. Okay, square, we can do square, that's fine. All right, now this is serious. Okay, we got nail length and we don't need extra long. I might not even want long. So spin. I got extra long. Honestly, truly, we just gonna have to adapt. All right, so I guess let's do a little recap. So our two themes are spider and blood. Then we have the colors red, pink, and black. Square shape, extra long length. All right, let's, let's let's go ahead and get started. I need to see how this is gonna turn out. Oh, and I meant to tell y'all, so like, I was gonna vlog me going to Orlando, going to Disney, cause it's like my very first time going to Disney. But I don't know if that's the kind of content y'all wanna see, cause I know y'all like nail stuff, and I don't think y'all care about a vlog. That ain't got nothing to do with nails. So y'all let me know in the comments, is that something y'all would want to see? So I know for future references. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it this time, but maybe next time I go on a trip or not. I don't know. But anyways, let's get into the video now. Bye bye. So I went on and skipped the whole first part of putting the nail tips on and prepping and all that other stuff because I've done that so many times with this challenge and um, I know y'all tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. So we just gonna skip that and we gonna get right into some acrylic. All right, so our colors are red, black, and pink. So I wanted to start off with the base color. So I think I wanna do the base pink and kind of work around that 
So I got this kit from Model Ones. I forget the name of this kit, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen. In this kit, there is a pink acrylic. Ooh, but this one has glitter in it and I did not want the glitter. I really don't like that glitter. I wish this would have just been plain pink. So I have a pink in this other kit right here that is also from Model Ones. And we're gonna take this out really fast and see what this pink is working with. So we're just gonna swatch this pink to see if it's what we really want. This is my first time using this brush too. Y'all get to see me test it out for the first time. All right, so that's a pretty bright pink, but do I actually want it that bright? Uh, I think I just wanna soften it up just a little bit more, just a tad bit more. So let's get to mixing. So I'm gonna put just a tad bit of the pink. That should be enough. We're gonna put some white, and this white is from the first kit that I showed y'all. And then we're gonna get some clear. This clear is from Mia Secret. And then I'm just gonna like, just mix it all together. Let's see what we, what we got. That is honestly perfect. That's what I want. That is what I want. Okay. I just hope this is enough for all five of my fingers, but we'll see. I'm gonna eventually do this hand. I'm still contemplating whether I wanna do this hand on camera. So just wait on it. So I'm gonna just keep this tilted at an angle so it's like easier to pick up since I don't have much in here. So I'm just gonna head and start with kind of like, that was kind of medium size, right? Well, that clearly wasn't enough, was it? Model 1's acrylic is like so runny, but when I added that Mia Secret acrylic to the Model 1's acrylic, that really made it a little better. I'm not even gonna lie. And that's clearly not gonna be the cuticle bead, because that was too small of a bead. this color cotton candy but you want to know something i forgot i forgot to put primer and dehydrator and i already did my thumb but you know what it's cool we're gonna put it on the rest better late than never so we're gonna start with some dehydrator and then the primer Let's get this done quick. We got some work to do.
is honestly taking longer than I thought. How long does it take y'all to finish a full set? Y'all let me know in the comments. Cause I do be taking my time, but I try not to take too long. giving more of a bubble gum i'll say than cotton candy so we're gonna call this bubble gum application was all right my application wasn't too bad look at that and that's before filing but it's a little bulky so y'all know we got to file so this is before filing and this is what it looks like after filing it looks nice I think I'm just going to make a whole video just dedicated to filing so I don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again in all of these videos. Now we can get into this blood and spider set. Hold on, before I do that, I got a buff first. So I was thinking on this hand, maybe a pink and red combo or maybe the pink and black combo. And then on this hand, I'll do like the exact opposite. I feel like pink and black will pop better than pink and red. So we're going to go for a pink and black. Let's try it out. So I'm thinking we're going to do black blood dripping down on this nail on the pointer finger. I've seen the spider web and the hard thing on pictures and Instagram. So I think I'm going to do that on the ring finger or the middle finger maybe the ring finger and then we'll do a spider sitting on the spider web of course but we're gonna make it 3d some way somehow i don't know we're just gonna make it 3d and then maybe do some blood again here on the pinky i'm not sure what i want on this finger right here it's still up in the air but i got like the main idea kind of planned out so let's just go ahead and bring it to life Okay, so first we're going to start off with the blood, which is, for me, is the easiest part. And the blood is going to be black. Okay, so we're going to take the black and do our little dots. I want one really, really low, so I'm going to do one right there. One up here, dripping, dripping. So they're all on different levels. <laughs> like really round out the drips out at the bottom and just really kind of fill it out that's how it end up looking now just a quick tip whenever you're curing your polish make sure you leave it under the uv lamp for the full 30 or 60 seconds because if you take it out any earlier you see that drop right there how it got bubbles in it and it's like kind of rippling up a little bit that's what you're gonna get so just let it cure and don't be thirsty like me because look i got bubbles but since I got the bubbles, we gonna cover it up with some black glitter. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some clear and we're just gonna like outline our drops that we have here with the clear. Oh, this is a little messy, don't mind that. That's just acrylic. And we're just gonna sprinkle it on top of the wet gel. That little dot too down there. And then we're gonna cure this. Okay, so we have that down. That don't look bad, I like it. Now we gotta work on this spider web, which I'm most nervous about because I've never done that before, but let's see. So we're gonna use this pink for the spider web. But we're gonna make a heart first, and that is really nerve wracking because I don't know if I'm gonna get this right. But 
we are going to try it. So we're going to start with like a V. clean that up with a little acetone i honestly feel like that's too big this is going to be a struggle all i really did was make that a little bit smaller and it worked out <sighs> i had to hold my breath for that one Okay, so I just saw in a picture that they don't put the lines all the way down to the free edge. They kind of like stop it up here. So I'm just going to go back in and like put some acetone and yeah, we're going to do that number. Alright, now we got that on out of the way. We need to make our little web look a little bit more webby. So we need to have these little loops going. I didn't cure it not one time. I did that whole thing without curing it, but now we're ready to cure. Okay, I decided to just do the drips on the middle finger, but now I'm kind of regretting it because now I really want it on here and then do another like kind of side web on this one. So the middles can be webs and then the two sides could be drips. Mm, but it's done, what's done is done. I'm not about to redo it though. nice i'm not mad at it i would have put it in a different order but it's okay okay so i'm just noticing that i forgot to like put a matte coat first and then do the design so what i'm gonna have to do and what i did with this finger is i'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing matte cure that and then just outline it again with the pink so this is how it looks matte and it kind of looks good matte but i really want it to be shiny just like my pinky so this is the before okay now i want to do like a spider coming down from its web And then we're gonna do a spider. That's the head. And here is its body. That ain't bad. a little bit too long i'm gonna shorten that a little bit or maybe not maybe that's fine
that's honestly the best i can do it ain't bad okay so i really really wanted to make this spider 3d and i wanted to do that using Swarovski crystals but um none of my Swarovskis are the colors besides this one but i need two different sizes to really make up the body of the spider and i have two different sizes in the silver Swarovski rhinestones so i'm just going to use the silver because it's like a neutral color and place it where i want the Swarovskis to go with my dotting tool This being the bigger one, it's going to go twice the back of the spider. And then the smaller one is going to be the head of the spider. Oh my gosh, they're two different colors. Uh, I don't really like it. Let me try this one. But this isn't like our colors, but I'm still going to try it. I know that ain't the color, but that's 10 times better. I really like that. We're gonna stick with it, I don't care. Now, I'm all done with my hand, and y'all, I love this set. This set really took me out of my comfort zone, I can tell you that. But if you look closely in this set, you don't see red, and red was one of our colors, and that's because I wanted to incorporate the red in my right hand, and it didn't turn out as, as good. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. I wanted to create kind of like a night and day thing where like my left hand was like day, and then my right hand was night which is you know the darker colors and yeah my hand was shaking like crazy with the spider web so it was a little sloppy it wasn't as neat so y'all better know i'm gonna redo this hand which is gonna be tricky because i have no time to do it but i'm gonna make time because i'm not about to go out of town with his hand looking like this <laughs> i literally leave tomorrow so if i finish the set i'm gonna put it on my instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram to see the final final set after i correct my mistakes but thank you so much for watching if you watched this far i will make sure that i do a full video of doing both of my hands in one video but this video just wasn't the video i thought it was gonna be but it wasn't but anyways i will see you guys in my very next video next week bye guys Oh.